from uh, retiring disgracefully. Another beautiful morning here in uh, Lamay. Today I'm going to take you uh, on a little trip and uh, the object of today's video is I'm going to show you what you can buy for 10 US dollars, the equivalent of 10 US dollars, which is round about uh, 350 baht. I'm going to start the day off by going for breakfast. Um, it's Noy's day off as she wants to take me to this uh, French bakery that she knows of, which is quite a distance from here, probably about a 20 minute drive. Uh, she's going to take me there. Uh, she assures me that uh, we should be able to get a decent breakfast there, there for two people for less than 350 baht. So we're going to start the day off there. Um, then I'm going to go shopping at the 20 baht shop. Now the 20 baht shop is something like uh, your 50 pence shop in uh, England or the pound store. I'm not sure what it's called now. It's been a long time with inflation It might be a two pound store now uh, and it's the dollar shop in the USA, but it's the same equivalent uh, 20 baht is round about a dollar less than a dollar. So I'm gonna go shopping there There's some bits and pieces. I like need to pick up. I always go there um, because they're bargains and uh, you know you go to Tesco Lotus um, Things are more expensive there. So I go to the 20 baht shop and pick up what I need there and I'll spend uh, 350 baht or 10 US dollars there and you can see what you can get for ten dollars. Then uh, tonight, um, with it being noise day off, uh, we normally try and make it a special day so we're going to go out for dinner tonight to um, uh, chill in at Lipanoi, which is very nice and uh, we'll watch the sunset and once again hopefully uh, for dinner for two and sit and watch a sunset for less than ten dollars. So I'll get on with my day. I'm gonna go for breakfast now and uh, spend ten dollars. get for 10 US dollars uh, at this beautiful restaurant, the kiosk, with this lovely view. And I'll show you the breakfast you can buy for uh, 350 baht uh, or 10 US dollars. Yeah, you don't see now. Right. Menu. Healthy vegetarian, that's not for me. French bread. And then we've got brie there, brie cheese. Straight from the oven. Not a bad start to the day, eh? This is how I like to start my days. Across there, there all the. I'm not sure what island that is. Do you know what island that is, Noi? What island is? It's Kotan. Uh, eh? I think Kotan. 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 That's Kotan. So many small islands here. Really. I think that must be the mainland over there because it seems to be going on forever. That'll be the mainland. And that uh, Noi's got a chocolate brioche. She <laughs> keeps saying that she's on a diet, but then she eats something like a chocolate brie or something. Yeah. Like oh, very nice. Very beautiful. There comes my orange juice. Cup, cup. And I made a, I got an American breakfast, which is three fr uh, scrambled eggs and uh, fresh butter. Looks like well made. And a, oh, a nice hot French stick. And that comes with juice.
hour ago we were eating breakfast in a sunshine and uh, it looks like um, wet seasons arrived in Kosamui at last because it's absolutely thrown it down now uh, I'm, oh that's loud I'm outside the uh, 20 baht shop and I'm gonna go inside and uh, buy some things some provisions uh, then I'm gonna go to Tesco Lotus to buy a few little bits and pieces and uh, I'm gonna spend ten dollars and then show you later what I buy for the ten dollars so let's go in uh, 20 baht shop and see what they have in there Okay. okay, I need some pens, different colours, okay, so I need pens, and I want some razors. Uh, three there. I don't know what they're like. I've never used these before. I'll give them a try. That's the good thing about uh, COVID. I don't have to shave very often now because uh, yeah, the only part of my face that anyone sees now is my eyes because the rest of the face is covered up as a mask. Okay, I need a beer glass because the glass that the hotel supply are tiny. So I'll get a, a Leo, a Leo glass. Okay. Let's see what else. I, I don't think there's anything else I need from here, but I'll have a look around. Mm, raincoats, pretty bad. Need one of them. Oh, I know what I need. I need a little uh, thing to keep my muesli in. A little container because mm, that one mm, too big. Well, that one's got a little spoon with it as well. That looks okay, I think. Okay, I'll get that one. loads of things in here some aren't 20 baht some things are a little bit more expensive but the cheapest is 20 baht but uh, sometimes you find more expensive things oh that's what i need i need some washing up liquid i need some sponges as well and the cleaning find them not here Liquid. Oh, that looks alright. Oh, you got some cleaning cloths and washing up liquid oh, for 20 baht. Okay, that'll do me, I think. Go and pay for these. So I spent uh, 100 baht in uh, the 20 baht shop. It's around about, about $3, I suppose, about $3. I'm going to head to uh, Tesco Lotus now and get a little bit of food. Um, and if there's anything left of my $10, I'm going to go and get a few pieces of chicken from the market to uh, for my lunch. Okay, I've uh, just gone back from spending my um, 10 US dollars and unfortunately I couldn't spend $10. Um, I ended up spending 242 baht, which is round about um seven dollars i'll put that up on the screen later but i think it's around about seven and what i bought i went first i went to um the 20 bar shop i needed a i have muesli here which i didn't have a container for so i bought a container here with a little spoon for 25 baht i need some pens so i bought two four six pens for 20 baht I needed razors, I uh, got four razors for 20 baht, 
and then you'll be washing up liquid and some sponges to keep this little kitchen clean and a little scotch brite and that was 20 baht so I got that, that, that and that and I needed a beer glass because they only give you little glasses in the hotel for uh, okay for drinking water but when you drink beer you need a proper beer glass so I got myself a Leo beer glass so that was another 20 baht so all up that came to 105 baht I then went to Tesco Lotus because I needed some yogurt so I got some yogurt and there were 42 baht and I bought some egg tarts for 29 baht, 30 baht say so um, around about 70 baht for yogurt and um, egg tarts um, then I went to the fruit shop I bought a nice bunch of bananas That's small for 15 baht Just lovely little, uh, these are really nice, nice and uh, flavoursome because they're tiny little bananas and I got two mangoes as well which that came to altogether 25 baht so I still had a little bit left over because that came to nowhere near ten dollars all this so I went and got lunch uh, for me and Noi and let me just get a little plate here so I can put them down Oh, sorry for the clatter. So I've got two barbecue chicken wing and a little bag of sticky rice. So that's a nice little lunch, a little bit of rice. I've got a little bit of salad in the fridge. So, so what we got for 242 baht, which is around about seven dollars, we got lunch. We got some yogurts for breakfast and some egg tarts we got all this from uh, 20 baht shop glasses um, detergent, washed up liquid and sponges some razors, container, five pens nice bunch of bananas and two beautiful ripe mangoes all that came to 242 baht ok so that was pretty good um, also um, what I'd like to remind you is, is that this hotel here, where I'm staying, is that's the beach just down there, about a 20 second walk. Um, this is my room, has a nice little kitchen, fridge, big fridge, toaster, kettle. That's my coffee maker I brought from in, but they have a little uh, induction cooker there, and uh, they give you coffee and tea. Um, and all this cost me round about 330 baht a night. If you stay for a month, it cost me uh, 10,000 baht to stay here for one month. So that is less than 330 baht, is round about eight or nine dollars a night to stay here in this lovely little hotel. Got everything I need. As I said before, I'm not the Hilton, but uh, not Hilton prices either. But it's got everything you need, right on the beach, as a swimming pool. So, some bargains around. to uh, Gong Thruk this morning to uh, have our $10 breakfast uh, which is very nice at the French bakery uh, we've decided to come out for a sunset dinner tonight to uh, Lipanoi to one of Noi's favourite restaurants it's right on the beach uh, the chill in so let's go in here and see what we can uh, get for $10 for our dinner tonight Noi brought me here uh, the first time that we met uh, 10 months ago uh, for our first dinner so uh, this place holds some special memories uh, for both of us it was raining when we left Lamai uh, 
to come here, but uh, the rain's cleared now and it looks like it's going to be a magnificent sunset once again here on this side of the island. Noi loves showing off uh, Kosamui to me. She's from Fitzanaluk originally, but uh, I think Kosamui is her spiritual home. She feel, really loves it here. She's lived here for a lot of years. diet at the moment so she ordered the uh, tossed salad with a Caesar dressing she also ordered a coconut to go with that she loves the coconuts and uh, we ordered the tapas menu to go with it which is fried pork some spring rolls Throw in some French fries as well for some reason, and uh, some spicy chicken wings, which are always good here. And I ordered a Chang beer, which is my normal order. And that came to 390 baht, which was a little bit over what the ten dollars which we'd uh, planned. Uh, it would come to around about US $12, uh, but it was well worth the extra $2. So once again, I have the company of a beautiful lady, a wonderful dinner, some nice drinks, and we watched the sun set over the Gulf of Thailand. Where else could we get value like that for $12? It's times like this that I realise that I've made the right decision to retire to Thailand.